I'd like to speak to you on the subject of the retrograde motion of Mars. Some evolutionists claim that this movement, easily explained by heliocentrism, cannot be explained by geocentrists, and that our case therefore collapses. This fairly stable situation of so many planets around the Sun has never been adequately explained by evolutionists, despite several unsuccessful attempts. Can geocentrists give a series of stages that produce identical results? The answer is a very definite yes. Now to simplify the complex orbits that we will be dealing with, to start with, I will assume that Mars is stationary and does not circle the Sun. This means that it is fixed in direction from the Sun to the star background. This is the vertical line that is pointing to the star background. As the Earth is stationary, Mars is nearing the Earth. As it swings past, left to right, it is going much faster past the Earth because it is much nearer, say, moving past at 3 degrees per night, or 24 hours. It is like a train approaching a station, travelling fast past the station, and then slowly disappearing into the distance. Let us now look at this from the Earth's point of view. When Mars is passing close to the Earth, it will be travelling left to right quite quickly say, 3 degrees each night. Now let us add in Mars' fairly slow normal orbital speed to this motion.
If it is travelling right to left at, say, 2 degrees per night, then when it is near the Earth, its 3 degrees per night left to right motion will be larger than its 2 degrees orbital speed, and it will briefly travel left to right at 1 degree per night for a short time. So you see, the geocentric model can explain Mars' retrograde motion, motion just as easily as the heliocentric model. What our evolutionary critics have forgotten is that observations of planets, moons, phases, or in this case relative motions, simply cannot decide between the heliocentric model and the geocentric model. I demonstrated this in my video about the orrery. I hope you found that interesting. Thank you.